This is an interview with Kimberly from the Stampeders. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm um, excellent. Beautiful day today. Yeah. And how about you? How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, what instruments do you play? I'm the drummer. And I play some guitar too. Um, were you in any other band other than the Stampeders? Uh, yes, I I was. Um, but it was uh, see the Stampeders had a, 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 a they were my first band. Uh, now, when we got started, we had a different name. We called ourselves the Rebounds, and we played uh, older songs. But then, um, uh, then we became the Stampeders, and we got kind of well known. And then, um, this was quite some time ago, especially from your point of view. This was back in the '60s, which is like just after the Civil War, if I. <laughs> Not, but anyway, we, I, I was in another band, but it was in the '80s. After the Stampeders, uh, we we kind of broke up, and we. Uh, we took a break and I formed a band that was called The Cry. And I had three um, records out at the time. And, um, uh, you know, it was moderately successful. But then um, that kind of ended because I just got to a point in my life where I couldn't, um, I, couldn't tra I couldn't be on the road anymore. I had been traveling for about 15 years at that time and, you know, living a lot on the road. And... Um, uh, there just comes a time when you just don't want to do it anymore. So I took a break and I settled down. I had a normal life for a few years. Um, how old were you when you joined the Stampeders? Uh, I was, well, but when I got together with um, the band The Rebounds, which had Rich Dodson, who was the guitar player in the Stampeders, I was 16. And I had only been playing for about oh, less than a year because I got my drums just after my 15th birthday. And, uh, I just started to play right away, and uh, I got in a band in about six months. We got the band together. And then in um, well, a couple of years after that, it became the Stampeders. And then about a year after that, we became a professional band. We, we left Calgary, and we moved to Toronto. And uh, we started playing, like, you know, six nights a week in, in these clubs and things all around Ontario. Um, are all the band members all original? Yes, as of this very day, there's the three of us are the same guys that are on the uh, uh, on the very first album. You you wouldn't know it to look at us, but hey, we're the same guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, was the band name always the Stampeders? Well, the, the the Rebounds was first, and then but but that was Rich and I, and then when Ronnie got in the band, we changed it to the Stampeders. But yeah, uh, from that time on, that band has always been called the Stampeders. Yeah. What was your first hit song? Ooh, the first hit song was a song called Carry Me, and uh, that was in 1970, and then our second, and it was, it was a quite successful song in Canada. It was the first song we ever had that got played all across the country. Uh, now, we had had a lot of, we'd been putting out records, like whenever we could kind of afford to get one, uh, get in the studio and make one. We've been putting out records uh, since the, since about 67 or 68. We always tried to get, you know, record something and put something out. But Carry Me was the first successful song, and that was quite successful in Canada. And then in about six months after that, the second song we put out was Sweet City Woman. And that was big all over the place. That, that was a hit record in the United States and in South Africa and in Europe and in Australia, just all over the when did you record Sweet City One? Uh, just about, uh, I think we recorded it in the winter uh, of 1970 or 70. It's 1971, actually, is what it was. It was probably February or March of that year. And we did our, uh, uh, the whole album that kind of came out with that record uh, in that, in that uh, maybe a couple months in the winter and spring of 71. And so we were ready to, it was a great summer tune, and that's the thing, I came out in an early summer, and um, uh, it was the perfect summer song, and it took off real fast, which is one of those things that went quickly. Um, have you toured to any other countries? Yeah, we've toured all over the United States, and, uh, and uh, a lot of Europe, and uh, we even had a, uh, we went to the uh, uh, International Song Festival in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil some years ago, and that was uh, 
uh, it was a great time. I got very sick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was it was a good time until I got sick, and I got the, you know I uh, I bought something on the beach, and when you're in a, a tropical country, don't do that. <laughs> um, how many times have you had contacts in this job? Oh, quite a few, quite a few. Um, we generally come and play at least once every couple of years, and um, this. Uh, this is actually, um, we normally come and play at the May Wilson, you know, the theater, and, um, but uh, we were there a year ago um, in September, so this is only about, looking at about 10 months, but this now is, this time is for the fair, so it's a different type of event. But yeah, every couple of years we generally kind of get around and play the same type of places. Good. And what is your favorite place to have a concert? Oh, wow. Well, you know... There's a lot of really nice theaters in the country, and the May Wilson is, is one. Uh, they, uh, it's really nice to play in places where people can have a comfortable seat and where it sounds good. And usually a theater is the place to be. In the old days, we used to play in arenas, and uh, uh, they sounded awful. But, you know, all the kids that was, we were playing, our audience then was, probably had an average age of about 16. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't care what it sounded like. They just wanted to be where the band was. And uh, but yeah, these days the uh, uh, there are many nice theaters, and we lucky enough to play in a lot of them. And uh, those are kind of my favorite places. I can't pick one in particular. I don't think because there is there are quite a few that are that are really quite nice. But um, any soft seater with a nice stage and a nice room to hang out in backstage. That's it. That's it. Well, that was great. No, thank you so much. Oh, okay. Mm. Wonderful.